So before we start the video, I just want to say this video will not contain any spoilers and I will only be talking about my experience I had with the game and only up to world tier 3. And with that being said, let's start the video. Diablo 4. Man, what can I say about this game? Well, for starters, it's good. My biggest fear going into this game was that it wasn't going to be that good and that the classes were going to be broken and that the game was going to have a lot of bugs. Well, I can confirm I was somewhat wrong. Let's talk about the story. When the game first loads up, you're welcomed by one of the most coolest intros I've seen in a while. A couple of treasure hunters stumble upon what they thought was a treasure, but actually was a summoning ground. And from there, Lilith was summoned into the sanctuary. Diablo 4 takes place 50 years after the events of Diablo 3, and a lot of people have been slaughtered by the high heavens and burning hells. The main premise of the game is to stop Lilith. During my time of playing, all I kept asking myself was, who is really the bad person here? And when you play through the story, you can see how the war took a toll on most of the lands and the people that are still suffering. After the intro, you're introduced to your character. I played a druid, a shapeshifter that can take on the form of a werebear or a werewolf. I'm really trying my best to not share too much because I honestly love the story and I had a blast experiencing them and diving deeper into the lore of the game. Let's talk about the world. Diablo 4's world is huge. I beat the game, but I still haven't unlocked the full map yet. The game has many locations that you're going to be traveling to, from different towns to dungeons and running around and fighting the many different monsters that roam the land. And you will also be engaging in PvP after you get to World Tier 3 and up. The one thing that I loved is how every location seems so dark and bleak, and you kind of feel for the people and can see what they're going through while the gods just play with their lives. The team at Blizzard did an excellent job at creating the world and giving it so much life that you start to feel bad for the citizens of this world. The world is also filled with many dungeons for you to take on, and they get harder with each tier that you advance in. But the loot that you get in them are well worth it will help you on your quest to take down Lilith and the other many challenges that you face. The world is also a shared world, so you will be seeing other players that will help you kill the world bosses or many different events that happen throughout the world. Let's talk about the gameplay. Okay, so there's a couple things I wanted to touch on. Let's first talk about the character customization. So I, I actually like the character customization. Well, at least to a certain extent. I love the fact that you can change many things from the hair, skin tones, and many other basic features that you see in most games. Now, I do have one complaint about it, but overall, I liked it. And with them having a transmog system, you can make your character look any type of way that you wanted them to look, so you can have a tune that actually represents you. Like I said, I went Druid, so I can't tell you about most of the other character options, but from what I've seen, every character actually looked good, and I had a hard time choosing which class I wanted. Now as far as classes go, since the game just dropped, we all knew that they would have problems with balancing. Now I only play Druid so I can't speak on the other character classes, but Druid felt OP at one point, then they nerfed it a bit. It's going to take a while for Blizzard to fully get it down pat, but from what everybody has been talking about. They love the classes, and they think this is the best that Blizzard has done for Diablo in a while. The loot in the game was great, and I really loved the way that the perks on the gear were handled. I remembered I had a piece of gear that turned all my werebear skills into werewolf skills, so if I wanted to use my werewolf form instead of my werebear form, I could do that and still keep the strength of my werebear form. And that was just from one piece of gear. The game has many different types of gear and perks that you can attach to and make your ideal character. And with so many skills to choose from, you'll be going back and forth from build to build. Let's talk about the combat. Diablo 4 combat is fast and fun. If you set your skills up just right, you can truly be OP. And with the world being littered with many trash mobs that scale with you and get harder the more that you level and jump between tiers. You're going to be doing a lot, and I mean a lot of fighting. 
Combat gets really fun when in a group and you all sync your attacks that complement the other person's attacks, and when executed just right, can make for some fun gameplay moments. Combat is pretty much straightforward. You go here and fight a bunch of monsters, and then after that, you fight a really hard boss after. Now, as good as the combat is, I do have a gripe about it though, which brings me to everybody's favorite part. Let's talk about the cons. So my first con is the combat. Now this is a small one, but I just felt like I never had enough spaces to put my skills. The hotbar only allows up to six skills on it, and I just kept feeling that some of these skills could have been set to a different place to free up space on the hotbar. Or do it how Final Fantasy XIV did it, where holding down the back trigger opens up a different set of skills. I just felt like I was limited on how many attacks I can do. My second complaint is a big one. But holy crap, for me the performance sucked at times. There has been so many times where I would just be rubber banding back and forth that I couldn't even play the game, which is why it's taken so long to get this review out. At times I thought it was my internet or something, but when I checked it, I wasn't having any issues, but the game was running really poor. I tried everything from lowering the graphics to reinstalling the game, but nothing worked. My third complaint is also a big one, but some of the cutscenes just wouldn't load. You can hear the people talking, but the game just didn't load them. Or when it did, the screen was not centered on what was going on and was placed somewhere else. I missed the whole end of the game and had to go back on YouTube and try to find a video just so I can see what happened since mine didn't want to play. Overall, I've been having fun with Diablo 4 and the great story that it told. From killing monsters in hell to getting gear, I give my experience with Diablo 4 a 8 out of 10. If you haven't tried this game out yet, you should. I've been having a pretty good time. Let me know down in the comments below if you've been having fun with the game. Alright, you guys take care. Bye.